The show is called Artistic Poetry, an exhibition of colored pencil drawings. We have a variety of subject matter by 23 artists, and there are 39 pieces by those artists. Uh, there will be uh, still lifes and flowers and landscapes, both real and imaginary. At least one of the flower artists is a member of the uh, Nature Artists Guild of America, and her work has nothing man-made in it. Uh, one of the landscapes is very imaginative and actually has graphite underneath the colored pencil, which is a, uh, an unusual way of working. Not too many of our people work that way. We are also going to have figures, and some might be portraits, and some will be groups of figures. This year we include a good number of abstracts. And uh, this is an unusual way for colored pencil artists to work. There aren't too many that, that work purely in abstract. And some of the other artists in the show work in an abstract manner, even though their works are realistic. We have one that's an interior, and the shapes and the lines and the colors uh, put it in the abstract category as well as being an interior. Uh, there's another one that is a close-up of tree bark and it also is very abstract with all the lines and the shapes that are moving throughout the uh, drawing. We have a lot of animals this year. Uh, we've got birds, we've got horses, and we've got a wolf dog that is a close-up of the wolf dog so you really catch the tension in his eyes which are also sad at the same time. The piece behind me by Gail Collier is one of the still lifes and one of the pieces that is done on colored paper. Uh, you can see it's on black paper and, and she's used the black paper very effectively for the background and the strong shadow. The colors look fairly simple and quiet, just a kind of pinky gray, but she has worked hours on this piece, building up all the uh, layers of pencil, and there's a wonderful flickering of color if you look into uh, the fruit. And it's called Geppetto's Fruit because they're all wooden fruit. Many of the artists work in a similar basic manner, uh, building up their colors with lots and lots of, uh, of different layers of color. When I'm working, I end up with a whole handful of pencils in my hand because I'll be pulling out one and putting color down and then pulling out another color and just building it up and building it up and building it up. Now some of the artists in the show, and there's a cat that is a very good example of this, uh, leave the paper showing and you can actually see the colors and you can see the pencil strokes. But many of us burnish our colors so that they all kind of blend together. In fact, uh, some colored pencil artists call their works paintings, although I consider them all drawings. It's going to be a, a very interesting show with a lot of variety, and I invite you all to come see what can be done with colored pencil. Many people have looked at our work and said, I can't believe it's colored pencil.